When women light candles, Arab Yom Tov, generally they light those candles before Yom Tov has really come into the world. And this is probably because of the um, custom from Shabbat. On Shabbat, you have to light the candles before Shabbat. I mean, there's no choice. And even though on Yom Tov there are other possibilities, nevertheless, women light the candles before Yom Tov. And so there is a question about the bracha of Shechiyonu. Shechiyonu is a special bracha, which is sometimes associated with the mitzvah that we are doing, and sometimes associated with the day that we are part of. So here, there is a question about, uh, there is a question about the bracha of Shechiyonu. Does the bracha of Shechiyonu apply itself to lighting the candles? in which case I could understand that the women should do so. Or does the bracha of Shechiyonu, or does the bracha of Shech, uh, refer to the day? The day we call Shavuot. The day Zman Matan Torah In which case the Zman of the day has not yet come because it's not like Shabbat where we can make Shabbat earlier. Yom Tov is Yom Tov. It starts when it starts. So how could the women say Shehechiyano? So this machloket exists, and there are those who say that the women can say Shehechiyano because it applies itself to the mitzvah of Hadlakat Neirot, of lighting the candles. And there are those who say that they should not say Shehechiyano. If a woman says Shehechiyano when she lights the candle, then it's not clear whether she can participate in the bracha of Shechiyonu, that whoever is making Kiddush later on will make, because she's already done the mitzvah of saying Shechiyonu. So it seems to me, it seems to me that the simplest thing to do, if it's not confusing or, or, or distressing to anybody who has a different minhag for many years, the simplest thing to do is for the women to light the candles, Erev Yom Tov, and not to say Shechiyonu. And to remember that when they hear the Shechianu on Kiddush, when they hear somebody say she- Kiddush and then afterwards say Shechianu al Hayom, that they yot say their obligation to say Shechianu bechol mikre in any event. And since there are no special mitzvot Hayom, there are no special mitzvot that we do on uh, Shavuot that are indicated in the Torah. Uh, there's no need, there's no need uh, to say any more than the Shechianu on the day. So that my feeling is that it would not be unreasonable for women to make the bracha, Ladlik Ner Shal Yom Tov, when they light the candles, and to wait until they hear, until they hear Kiddush, and uh, the bracha Shechianu is made, and then they are able, then they're able to be yotze, to fulfill their obligation, saying Shechianu on the day of Shavuot.